Okay, baby, here we go. All right, going to answer the age-old question that everyone wants to know. Uh, is addiction a choice or a disease? All right, I'm going to try to kind of hustle this along. Uh, this was a video request. This was a video request. Cindy, this is for you. Uh, and I have done this video before, but it was a long time ago. It was like two months off the box, and the video was like a half an hour long. Probably went down a bunch of rabbit holes. Probably wasn't very good. Probably sucked, and I probably said it sucked multiple times uh, in the video. So at least I was aware, right? Okay. Uh, but anyway, let's revisit it. Let's revisit it. It's a good topic. Topic. It's controversial. This is just my opinion, dude. That's all it freaking is, and I'm just going to talk. I don't know how this is going to go. We're just, I'm just going to wing it. So... Um, so yeah, here we go. Let me take a drink of water. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor, but you know what? There's a lot of experts and doctors that I disagree with. And there's a lot of experts and doctors that disagree with each other. So it's fair game, right? Okay, here we go. So is addiction a choice or a disease? You, if you follow the channel, you probably know what I'm about to say, right? Now it's not entirely black and white though. So you got to hear me out, but I say it's a choice. I, I, I say this. My opinion is that every, every addiction starts with a choice. Okay? That is my opinion. Now, I will say, though, and I used to not think this way at all. In fact, I used to say it was, it's a choice. It's always a choice. And it, I, I would say it's a choice. And if you think any otherwise, you're in denial. That, that's that's what I used to uh, that I used to say even when I was in active addiction and I just like couldn't stop and stuff I I knew in my heart I was like that's a choice though I, I didn't I never bought into the disease thing but as I've gotten older the more experience that I've had and people I know so many people I've seen and stuff it does seem like when you're using drugs for many many years and you're you're getting physically dependent you're changing the chemistry of your body especially you're using like multiple drugs dude and for 10 years and stuff like that it's like we create this disease within ourselves i mean there is serious biological stuff going on i mean that's just a fact i mean there is physical dependency is physical dependency and the psychological stuff that goes along with it and everything like i mean it becomes a lot more than just deciding to use some heroin one time on the weekend or, or, or you know what I mean, popping or, or you know what I you, you get what I'm saying, getting drunk, deciding to get drunk one night or even just going on a binger or something like that. When it becomes you physically and it, it, you know what I mean, that's when the game definitely at least changes and, and and if people want to call that a disease i'm fine with that okay like i mean it's definitely something something a little bit more than just a choice now with it but i will say with but here's the deal because i'll, I'll talk about the dangers of calling it a disease a, a disease that i see but because i just want to say this is even in the, within that disease like you've you're been using stuff for 10 years and you're physically dependent and whatever within that disease is still choice. You can still choose your way out of it. If you have cancer, I can't just lay in bed one night and just go, you know what? I'm going to tomorrow I'm going to stop doing this and I'm going to stop doing that and I'm going to and I'm going to start doing this and start doing that. Uh, you can't just make, you know, stop doing this, start doing that and then the cancer's going to go away. But with addiction it can. So it's hard for me, you know, it's hard for me to put it, put it up there. You know what, you know what I mean? That, that's just an example, but you get, you get what I'm saying, right? It within the, within the disease, there's still choice. And like I said earlier that I believe my opinion is that every addiction begins with choice. I just don't think you're just, oh, you're defective. You're defective. All addicts. It's, it's a disease. Bullshit. Sorry. Bullshit. No, 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 dude. I, I don't, I just, it can be a cop out. It, it can be. It, it, it can take the responsibility off of the person. Uh, now we need to be sympathetic, dude. Like it is for real. And when you're using drugs and you're and you're like I said, you're physically dependent and stuff. Like it, it is very tough. And we need to be understanding and sympathetic. But we also need to try to help people, right? And you know, if we're gonna help people, like we have, I have to buck up and make changes. You're going to have to make a change and a choice 
at some point if you ever want to break free of these chains. That's just what it is. That's what it is for us, right? And it's still very, very hard. But it again, even getting clean begins with a choice. Um, yeah, I just, it's, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't think we're just defective human beings. Now, to me though, the disease, because there is a disease, the disease is sin. That is the disease. Everyone has their weaknesses and are more susceptible to this or that, or you might, you might struggle with addiction. And then the other guy might have the better job, no drugs, but he's cheating on his wife or, or whatever, or whatever, whatever it is, or embezzling money or, 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 or whatever. It's sin. It's sin. Addiction is a sin. It is a sin. That is our, if you are, if you're a Christian and you are still strong and if you're an addict, it's a sin. It's an idol. It's just like whatever it's, it's my struggles with pornography or whatever. That's an idol. That's an idol. Okay. Addiction is a sin. That is the disease, in my opinion, not this. Um, yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying, right? So, yes, I say a choice, but it can become a disease, okay? Um, sometime I'll make a video on mental illness and addiction as well, because I also believe that using drugs for long enough, you... you we can create a mental illness within ourselves. Uh, but I, I got a lot more to say about that. I'd like, I'll do that in another video sometime. Um, but, but I'd love to know your guys' opinion on this. Seriously, like full on opinion in the comment section. There's more stuff I wanted to say, but I can't think, I think I want to, uh, think of what I wanted to say. I know there was another couple points, but, but anyway, Hopefully, though, find this encouraging, okay? Because, uh, I don't know, I feel like sometimes... No, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to piss more people off. Anyway, all right, I guess I'm done. I guess I'm freaking done. This was terrible, dude. I really felt like this was bad. Uh, really, really freaking bad. There's more crap I wanted to say, and I can't freaking remember. Uh, ever since getting off the benzo, dude, this is just the reality of my life. Anyway, God bless all y'all. Be for victory and salute.